So all the corn, when they become corn tortillas, they yeah. start here. They start here. So we first uh, put our batch of corn in here. We clean it off, rinse it off, and then we put water in an alkaline solution. We use lime, the mineral. I always want to clarify, it's not the lime that you put in your margaritas. So it's called nixtamalization. Nixtamalization is an ancient process. It takes the outer layer of the corn kernel and it softens it. And so do it to a certain temperature. We turn the, the heat off. We let it sit overnight, come in the next day, and we rinse it. And what's going to happen is that part of the corn kernel that is no longer digestible is going to peel off. As it does that, because we introduce the mineral into it, the corn absorbs all those minerals, which that's what makes corn tortillas so healthy. And so how many ingredients are in your tortillas? Three, corn, water, and lime. And that's it? That's it. So all of the binding that happens in the dough, that's all just a oh, natural? Oh, just natural process. Just like it used to be hundreds of years ago. So after the it's corn is nixtamalized, yes. then what? Then we come in here and grind it. We have these two volcanic stones. This design is ancient. It's from the Aztec time. So, I mean, the first uh, one that they had, it was more like a metate, which was um, on the floor. Yep. Yeah, and they did that. And then they came up with this one. They run counter yeah. to each other. Yes. The corn comes down the middle and then feeds out of these, so it gets smaller and smaller, smaller. and smaller. Correct, yes. It's just a brilliant, simple design. Yes. It's so brilliant that it hasn't changed in millennia. So it's all ground and it falls it's all in ground, here. It falls in here, and then we go ahead and put our masa in the mixer, and we do that so that everything, the humidity level is just all perfect all around. And then it gets put in our feeder. The machine that makes the corn tortillas has a die cutter. So as the masa gets extruded through our masa feeder into the rollers, which determines the thickness, it die cuts the size, which allows us to do different sizes with the different corn types. Then the tortilla oven mimics cooking on a flat top or a kamal. So it cooks the first side, cooks the other side and then cooks that first side one last time, which will create that puff. This is the famous puff. And what you really have is two sides of the tortilla. A lot of people don't know that. You have more of the solid side, and this is where it all puffed up, and we call this little belly, pancita. I love it. And so when you're making your taco, you're supposed to put your meats in here, and this is gonna suck up all your juices. Okay, that is life changing. Now that I know that, I will be looking for, for the little belly yeah, on every one of yes. my fresh tortillas. Yes. That's amazing. <laughs>